Hi, how are you? This is Sandstorm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. Today, we're going to be doing another achievement video in which we will unlock the achievement House of Kurds. For this achievement, Kurdistan must own all of its cores, and the only stipulation is that Kurdistan cannot be released from any of the countries it starts with cores on. So that would be Iraq, Iran, Turkey, and France. So let's start a new single player game. 1936 scenario. Today we'll be using Germany. And we'll turn on Iron Man mode so we can get achievements. Let's begin. Since France is one of the nations we require for this achievement, we're going to start by planning for the classic Sandstorm French Pair Drop, which is usually a good tactic for these achievements to start off. Especially when it's achievement you can play Germany on it. So we'll start by doing the Rhineland. And of course we'll be researching paratroopers. Along with the usual other stuff, some industry focuses. We'll build up civilian and military industry in the highest infrastructure zones. And we'll make sure we have plenty of factories on infantry equipment. As usual, we're going to switch everything up to submarine production. And create the super fleet. We'll sort out our resources by importing from the Dutch East Indies for some rubber. And we'll put all of our infantry divisions in one army along the French border so that they'll reorganize once we remilitarize the Rhineland. And we'll put the rest of the divisions right here, swap out the three tanks, and then put three infantry in their place because we're going to change this army over to paratroopers. All right, I think we're ready to hit up to five times speed and wait to have enough political power to justify on France. We now have enough political power to justify on France, so we'll justify on Alsace-Lorraine. 250 days. We've completed the Rhineland National Focus, so we'll go over and do Army Innovations. We've just completed Army Innovations. Let's go over and get the four-year plan. Now that we've gotten Army Innovations, we can use the extra 10 Army XP to make a 7-2 division. Although we'll still have support artillery, we only have 5 Army XP left and we can't take out that support company. So it's just going to be a little bit of extra artillery in the divisions. And we can start training up some of those, as many as we can fully equip. Now that we've researched paratroopers 1, we're going to switch this army of 6 divisions all into paratroopers. And we've also set up the transport planes at this airport, so we can start planning the invasion plans to pair drop into France. We're now going to do Autarky National Focus. We just completed the National Focus Autarky. We're going to go down to Kerman Goring Rurk, get the extra civilian factories. It doesn't too much matter what focuses you're doing at this point, because they're not really necessary to progress the strategy of the achievement. But anyways, we've just produced our first six 7-2 divisions. We'll put them in a new army and include them in the army group so that they can be helpful when we invade Britain. We've just completed our justification on Alsace-Lorraine to conquer from France. We're going to activate our pair drop. We're going to slow down time and declare war on France. We're going to use the fact that we are at war with the Major to justify a war goal on Iraq, who is going to get guaranteed by the United Kingdom. So that when we declare war on Iraq, we'll also get at war with the United Kingdom. And we also need Iraq to form all of Kurdistan with their cores. Paradox has gone successfully, and France is now at 100% capitulation. And we've made it to the peace conference. Now, usually we want to puppet France for the fleet, but we have no need to this time, since we're also going to be doing the United Kingdom. So we're just going to take all states. Let's end the turn. And now we're finished. We're now in a good spot because we own the French Empire. And we are getting our war goal quickly completed on Iraq. So what I'm going to do is set up the usual Dominions trick where we send our naval invasion to each of the Dominions, then invade the United Kingdom and see if we can get everyone that we need for Kurdistan in the peace deal. We've just made our war goal on Iraq, but we're not going to declare war as soon as possible because our troops are still getting in position. And the United Kingdom has guaranteed Iraq. Perfect. Alright, all of our troops have arrived in position, so I think we are now ready to declare war on Iraq. They seem not to have very many troops on this border. Uh, but let's unpause real quick. Alright, we're now over with the UK, which means we're over with the Major. We can set some orders for our troops in Iraq to manually go. 
and see if we can cut off UK support from the Middle Eastern colonies here. But we now need to justify on one of these two others, Turkey or Iran. Turkey is guaranteed by Romania. Turkey's army is a little bit larger and more powerful than Iran's right now. So we're going to justify on Iran next. So that when we capitulate in Iraq, we'll be able to activate them just by fighting them on the border. Anyways, for now we're going to try and encircle London until we've gotten all the people we need in the peace conference. Alright, we accidentally took London, but it doesn't much matter since we're only doing two justifications. So it shouldn't be that bad to maintain a uh, separate area in London, like in the uh, Midlands here or up in uh, Manchester and Sheffield. Just enough to make sure they don't capitulate, but they can capitulate on command. And Iraq has capitulated. We're going to reset our army on the Iranian border. We don't have to capitulate Iran again. We don't have to capitulate Turkey. In fact, we're probably going to get pushed back at some point. We just need to make sure they're in the peace deal when we capitulate the United Kingdom. So Iran is going to be just 13 days more. We've just gained our justification on Iran. We're now going to do our final justification on Turkey. They are guaranteed by Romania. So if you're planning on playing this out, which I do not usually do with my achievement videos, um, you want to make sure you at least uh, pair drop or naval invade Romania, somehow touch their nation so that you can get them in the peace deal so that they don't carry over the allies. Anyways, let's declare war on Turkey. Uh, I also appear to have given up this front somehow. So let's see if we can reassign five divisions here to hold off the British. Um, so that we don't get too far invaded there to maintain our border with Turkey. Our justification on Turkey has just been completed and we just completed another research. Um, let's set about half of our Iranian forces uh, onto the Turkish border because it seems as if Iran has been overrun. They're actually a good bit away towards capitulation. We could hold out for a little bit more and capitulate them, but I don't think that's going to be necessary since we just have to capitulate the United Kingdom to end. As long as none of these powers become a major, which they should not since most of the starting majors still exist. So let's take half of our troops, hold them, and go to the Turkish border. Make sure we're railroading. Again, I don't think Romania is going to be included in this peace deal because we're not going to get uh, to actual mainland Romania, even if they do send troops down through Turkey to fight. Anyways, we should be ready to declare war on Turkey. Let's do that right now. Make sure we do a force attack onto their territory. To see if we can get them to take some war score. And Romania is in this war. But they're not in the Allies right now. Let's just wait a few days to make sure they take enough casualties to be in the peace deal. I believe it has been long enough we have touched the Turkish territory in uh, one of their core victory points. Let's walk into these little encirclements all around Britain since we are ready to complete the war. It's a bit messier since we accidentally took London. And let's check, is everyone in the peace deal? Yes, everyone is in the peace deal, fantastic. We'll take the UK. Usually we would puppet them for their fleet, but we didn't do that with France and it's really not necessary for this run. Uh, because we're not even going to be playing as Germany after this peace deal. We're gonna have to release ourselves as Kurdistan. So let's satellite the British Raj, British Malaya after passing a little bit. Make sure we take everything from this peace deal. All right, we have taken everything in the peace deal. I believe the allies should now only exist in Romania. Yes, I believe that is correct. It is yellow because Romania now leads the faction. And let's unpause it a little bit to make sure there's no uh, game jank happening here. I've seen this happen sometimes, especially if you're switching ideologies. If you forget to unpause for a day, the game sometimes doesn't update and uh, whatever you're trying to do doesn't work. So let me go into our occupied territories. We're going to have to leave Germany, although they now control a vast empire. So let's find Kurdistan in the list. All right, there's Kurdistan down in K under Kingdom of Morocco and above Kuwait. So let's hit uh, release nation. 
will be sure to play as. I believe you have to be playing as Kurdistan for this achievement to fire. They can't just be your puppet. So let's uh, release the nation. And we have now flipped into Kurdistan. And this should be all of their cores. They do have a default focus tree. That would be quite interesting if they got a focus tree with uh, Battle for the Bosporus. Uh, but they do have a decent uh, core population, although we do start with no divisions. It's just these German divisions in our territory. That's quite interesting. We're democratic. All right, let's unpause and hope uh, the achievement fires. And there we go. Achievement unlocked. House of Kurds. We own all of our cores. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Thank you.